Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to a DCUO loadout video, and of course I am on Trucks Rage, my Rage player, uh, and we're going to be taking a look, let me actually unload that, and we're going to take a look at Melee DPS. Love, love that good targeting bug. So first thing we got to do is do a overview uh, talking about Rage. So first things first, we have to talk about the Melee mentality because we're looking at a Melee build. Melee mentality is you cannot always be in the boss fights. You have to be able to back out because most bosses tend to do an AoE range uh, right there at the Melee range. So you need to learn to actually be to back out and then know when to back in. This is going to take a little bit of knowledge. You can learn it from test server footage. You can learn it from other players as well who have done it. And But it's going to take time. So as I always say, if you're not dying, you're not learning. So keep that in mind when you're playing a melee range. You can go in there, do a lot of damage, but you have to learn when to know to back out and then come back into the fight. So the other thing we have to talk about is the rage power costs. Rage, uh, with the stats revamp that came out, the power costs did change, and we're going to take a look right now at Outrage as an example. Outrage, the ability has a base power cost of 200, so when I talk about the base power cost, it's always going to be that either 100, 200, 300, sometimes even a 450, depending on the power and the ability. But speaking here with Outrage, the initial ability here in the loadout is going to be a 200. But what they also did in the revamp was make the Rage combos power have power cost as well so what you're looking at they actually don't outright say it but with a lot of effort on my part and a lot of other testers we kind of came into the look-see uh, of seeing that the power cost for outrage is 200 the melee cost for the rage combo is 100 each so what you're looking at is a power cost of outrage of 400 now it could be mistaken I'm off the NAM, but that's going by all the months of testing with Rage on the revamp and also seeing it here on live servers as well. So even though you see Outrage as a 200 base power cost, it actually comes up to a 400. So it actually does hit pretty hard. Now other testing has proven that it could be the power cost, the Rage combos could be 50 power. So it could be a 200, 50, and 50, making it a 300 ability. But... I, I've seen it where the power costs have somehow equaled out to 100 each. But again, I could be wrong, and more testing, I'll, and through more testing, I'll make sure to clarify that in the comment section below. But when you look at these power costs for rage combos, even for the hard light for other combo abilities, you're going to have to pay more power. And the damage does amplify that that power cost is valid. So when you're looking at Outrage, you can see it as a 200, but you have to keep in the back of your mind that your combo powers are going to cost power as well. So you need to make sure you manage your loadout specifically. Uh, another look is Revenge, where Revenge is a what power cost doing? of 100. I found that the melee cost for Revenge Spin is 50, so Revenge is actually a 150 power cost. Yes, I feel that the developers need to make sure that the combos need to have their own power down below and hopefully in the future we'll be able to see that uh, another look see is definitely dreadful blast power cost of 200 you're holding it twice that is 100 power each so it is again another 400 power cost ability so those are what you have to keep in mind your melee mentality and also in the rage power cost so when you make your loadout you can't have full 300 abilities because it's going to drain your power so keep in mind with your combo powers it's going to have to be a little bit more extra because you have to take in count the power cost for your combos next we're going to talk about skill points here in the traits menu so just for record my melee rage power we're going to be looking at super powered focus so as super powered focus you're going to look into your weapons, and you're going to ignore your weapons. Uh, I have my default ability here in uh, with my Rage player is Martial Arts. I believe I probably have... I have one point in Bow, but that's because I, I like using Bow. Don't ask me why, it's just fun to use. But really, in 
super powered, you're not using your weapon. So you really could just live with your default weapon, or you can even use a weapon respec from the marketplace, which I don't really recommend, or just spend one skill point and just spec into a weapon that you do want to use. I easily could I could have easily stuck with martial arts, but at the same time, I don't have a martial arts weapon. Because I've always been focusing on bow. I don't know why I like bow. So again, with your weapons, you can use your default or spend one skill point just to get the active I guess to get the weapon proficiency, because all you really need it for is to interrupt and block break in case. But as superpowered, we do not use our weapon. Next is going to be uh, your movement mode here in super speed for me. Uh, you're going to get your speed force or your first ability to get your extra movement uh, for your ability, for your movement mode. And then you're really just going to pick one of these abilities in this tier 2 slot. It doesn't matter which one because you're really not going to use it. You're only really putting two points in so you can get your breakout mastery, which is all the way down here. So you need to get your restraint resi resistant, knockback resistance, knockback recovery, restraint recovery, all leading up to your breakout mastery. So you're only really need to use seven skill points here in your movement mode. Now, of course, me being a super speed, I do have access to the awesomeness of speed drain. I have access to uh, where you phase dodge even. But those are extra things that if you want to, you can go ahead and get. just depends on how your loadout situation is going to go. Next, in the Iconics, I don't have any Iconics, but I really want to make sure I touch upon because as DPS, you do have two options. One of the options is Robot Sidekick. Most people use it. I really don't, but it is an option to use in DPS, but remember it does take a loadout slot, so you might get a little bit extra DPS with it, but again, it just depends on how your loadout goes. The other uh, the other suggestion is to use Neo Venom Boost, which increases your damage, your defense, and honestly, it's Neo Venom Boost, like it's one of the best. It's one of the best supercharges out there. But as Rage, we have a little bit something extra, which we'll talk about when we get to the loadouts. And then finally, in our stats points. Now, I only have 227 skill points, and the amount of skill points you have will determine your effectiveness with your loadout. So, let's talk about it. Superpowered Focus, you get plus 10 to Might, plus 10 to Power, and plus 25 to your Power Regeneration, which is your personal Power Regeneration, which is based off of your max Power Pool. So, the, more, the larger your Power Pool, the more you're going to get uh, the more you'll get in power region and super power focus will increase that power regeneration you're going to max out your critical attack chance max out your critical attack damage and super power focus we do might and power now the minimum for might and power that you need is 100 you want to get to 100 because you want this extra 10 percent to power 10 percent to might 10 percent weaponization and rating is depending if you actually use it but you really want this this uh, 10% which maxes out at 100 skill points. That's the minimum. After 100 skill points, you can venture off into another stat if you want to. Health to live a little bit, to you know, to stay alive a little bit longer just in case you're taking some big hits and health is going to help you with that. You can get a little bit of dominance if you're using Remorseless Recovery because dominance is actually going to help Remorseless Recovery's healing. And you can also even go with Restoration because Remorseless Recovery, again, works off of Dom and Resto, so you can split off into that. Or, just put all your skill points into Might and Power, because it also goes along the exponential growth. So, you can see here, I'm currently, my power is currently increased by 2661. When I put another skill point into it, it's going to increase to 2680, uh, 2698 power. That's still a pretty big increase in power. So, it is an exponential growth that the stats go into. So, if you want to keep going into it, then by all means. Just remember, the more power you have, the more options you have for your loadout to have a to use a bigger ability. So, yeah. And we'll talk about the loadout and your responsibility for it right now. Ah, the loadout. You gotta here. love it. Now, this is actually not the first loadout that I use, but this is the loadout that I'm going to use in this video because I've actually been very happy with it. And big shout out to, you, to YouTuber viewer uh, Fear Lantern because I saw him using Lacerate in an alert and I was completely impressed with the damage that I saw from it. So I wanted to test it out as well and I found... 
I found a liking to it. So you will probably see a, uh, some other versions of Melee loadouts that I use, but I want to go ahead and start off with this one because I do like what I see with Lacerate. So let's look at the abilities that I have in this loadout. First is Relentless Anger, then Violence, Redirected Rage, Lacerate, Outrage, and Berserker. Sorry, I'm a Kevin Smith fan. Uh, so we use Relentless Anger because it is a supercharged generator, and... It applies the Plasma Burn PI to enemies. It's a small radius who gets hit with Relentless Anger to get the Plasma Burn. Now, sadly, when you hit Relentless Anger on multiple targets, it doesn't mean the, shield, the Supercharged Generator is going to increase even more. It has a flat increase, so it doesn't matter how many people you hit, it's still going to give out that same flat. Which, again, I really wish we had numbers for it. I really wish we did. But Relentless Anger is there to apply the P, uh, the Plasma Burn PI, and it's also there so we can have our Supercharge go given to us a lot faster. We have Violence here because it also inflects Plasma Burn, but what it does differently is because Violence is an aura. With it being an aura, any targets that's walking up to you and gets into your range, and they might be even new to the fight. You can even kill your enemies here, and if you still have the aura on, you're going to go to another group of enemies, and they're going to get the Plasma Burn PI. So for a total of 12 seconds, any enemy is going to get the Plasma Burn PI, and that PI will last for 12 seconds. So it's helpful to have. It's helpful to have. Also, being that we're in melee range, they're going to get an aura dot on them. So as long as you're in melee range with those enemies, they're going to get damaged every... Uh, they're going to get damaged while the aura is on. Next is Redirected Rage, which I love shields. Shields are my favorite now. I absolutely love it, and I use it as my oh shit moment. It is literally my oh crap button. Just in case I'm taking too much damage and I need to at least save myself a little bit, I use Redirected Rage. Now there are options where you could use Without Mercy, which is completely fine because Without Mercy is also a melee ranged point blank 360 AOE so it's going to hit multiple targets and within that multiple targets they're going to you're going to receive heal based on the damage that you do to them the now what the actual leech damage is way leech sweeter than your place I give you permission is, to enter it, it's still but being it's determined by people who secret. do math better than me but it's a work in progress now hopefully I'll get that to you out in like the rage guide on the forum somehow but without mercy is a viable option to use uh, but for me personally I use redirector rage so you can't go wrong either way next is, oh, as the as that nice bug always works it uh, lacerate is my next ability where lacerate is going to do a uh, circular motion for three seconds but the cooldown is going to be for three seconds and during that three seconds while lacerate is the animation is going you are regening power so it's not so it's very helpful in that form where you're going to regen power enough to the point where you could use it again after your rotation. But of course, we'll have rotation talks about that in a little bit. Uh, but Lacerate also does more damage with the Plasma Burn PI on enemies. And you're doing a ten, you're doing 10% more damage to enemies that have the Plasma Burn PI. If they don't have that PI, you're missing 10% of damage. So Keep that PI, keep that PI, power interaction, on the enemies. Next is going to be Outrage, which is, of course, our heavy hitter. Uh, and Outrage, will, thanks to the revamp, actually now has an extra melee combo. So you do Outrage, tap melee to do Outrage again, and then you're going to hold it, and it will do extra measure. Now, through my testing, I have found that if you do Outrage and then just hold the hold melee to go into extra measure, you're losing a lot of damage. It's not... It, you're losing thousands of damage, as a matter of fact. So if you're wanting to actually make Outrage hit properly, you have to do the full Outrage combo. Outrage into Outrage into extra measure. Extra measure, at my level, I see it crit maybe about 18 to 20,000 hit on, a tar on one target. Of course, when it splits damage, it gets crazy. But it does hit hard, but you have to use your full Outrage animation. And then Berserker. Berserker is still here. Uh, it is a 50% supercharge, cooldown of 12 seconds. And Berserk did get a nerf in a update recently. 
Uh, instead of Berserk copying 100% of the damage being done to enemies, it now does 90%. And also, Berserk actually apparently had a bug where it wasn't splitting properly, so now Berserk is going to split properly to enemies uh, after two targets, I believe. So, Berserk, as melee rage, it's our bread and butter. We, you need Berserk. It is a fantastic supercharge. It's one of the, it's our best and probably the best in the game. It is fantastic. So when you use Berserk, it will have about a two second animation, which is too long in my opinion, but it's there. And I believe the effect lasts for about six to eight seconds of doing multiple damage. So if you're going to do it, I recommend probably bubbling up, use redirected rage to protect yourself a little bit, use Berserk, and then literally unload with violence, with lacerate, with outrage, because you're doing double the damage. Well, not double, because that would be 100%, but your, your damage is basically doing 90% of it. So if you're doing 100 damage, Berserk is going to do 90 damage to that. So it's kind of, it's basically kind of like that. So it's only going to do 90%. So keep that in mind as you play around with the loadout. The rotation that you're going to use is going to be Outrage, because, or I'm sorry, Relentless Anger, because it is a lunge, and it does perform the, P, uh, the Plasma Burn PI. V uh, then I do Outrage, all three of the combos. I clip it with Violence, and then I go into Lacerate. And once Lacerate's animation is done, I clip in. I go into Outrage, and by the time I'm done with Outrage, I can clip back into Lacerate, and at that time, violence should be off of cooldown. But again, take a look at the footage that you're about to see, and you'll see the rotation that I use. For the rotation, you want to start off with Relentless Anger, and then go into Outrage, and then clip it with Violence, and then go right into Lacerate. If you're starting taking a little bit of too much damage, you can easily use the uh, redirect rage, but you just want to just continuously go back and forth between outrage and lacerate until, until violence is off the corner. Again, you also still have to use a little less anger if you are still in the regard to regen. It's always a good thing. So, hope you guys enjoyed the loadout, and I hope it works out for you. It's, it has been. It might not be DPS efficiency, but for me, the fun factor is definitely there. Thanks for watching, guys. Oh, of course. There's always time for this up.